So, the project so far. I built a beer delivery drawer, and that didn't work out as planned. What the f***? How the f***? Why does it line up? I need to find my quiet place. Oh shit! I built a Peltier cooling system, and that didn't work out as planned. How the f*** is it going up in temperature? Jesus f***ing Christ. I found an old bar fridge and transplanted it into the sofa beer fridge. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, Woo yes. And I put the final touches on and now it looks like this. Bear me. Right, the sofa beer fridge is in its new home in my friend's house. Now, before I delivered it, I had to extensively test this thing. I had to make sure that it wasn't going to break it wasn't going to have a code fail. And so what I did is I filled it up with beers and tested it extensively in my garage before it came here. So far, beer me. I love you guys. So now that I know that it works properly, I thought I'd show you guys some features and talk through how this thing actually works. So. We know that it works on voice control. So the command of sofa beer me uh, needs to be said in a very short form for the sofa module to hear the right words. So it kind of needs to be like short syllables. Now, what you probably didn't know is it's also controlled by a remote if you don't want to yell at the sofa to beer you. Um, and this is just a relay, uh, a garage remote, which then I have now 3D printed, um, which is the first time I've ever done this. And that's really, really cool. Um, it kind of blew my mind. I kind of thought 3D printing was cheating, but once I actually like designed it on the computer with my friend Jürgen and we printed it out, like my world has changed. Babe. Yeah. I think I'm pregnant. Have you seen this thing? This is amazing. It like prints from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and the other way of doing it is through your phone. Now I have made an app for the sofa. Uh, you just download it and literally you just press the button and the beer will spit itself out. Now let's talk about the code a little bit. Right, whether you use the voice control module or whether you use the remote or the app, the script runs exactly the same. Now, the first thing the script does is it looks for the beer in the drawer. So it checks the sensor. If there is a beer in the drawer, it will drive the drawer out and you'll be able to take the beer. If there's no beer in the drawer, it will drive the chain around and push the paddles around to push the next beer ready to go. Once the beer is in the drawer, the drawer will then come out and deliver. As soon as you take the beer, the sensor senses it and will close the drawer automatically. If you don't take the beer, it will close automatically in eight seconds so that the hot air from the outside doesn't expose the fridge too much. So and then what happens is it will try and load a new beer ready for delivery till when you call it again. So it goes in a sort of endless loop like that until you're out of beers. 
and to which when you're out of beers it will run the belt for 10 seconds and then you'll hear an audible alarm telling you you're out of beers and you need to fill it up. You are out of beer. Get off your fat ass. Right, all that talking made me thirsty. Sofa, beer me. Now, whilst I get this, I need to shout out all the guys that supported me on this epic build. Now, uh, more importantly, I need to shout specifically out Jimmy for helping me with the code. Uh, I need to shout out Henning for helping me with the refrigeration stuff. And I need to shout out Gus and Jurgen for just being moral support. If you want to check out this build and you want to see how I did it, there's a three part build series linked in the description, along with a whole heap of links to parts and resources I used to build this thing. Go subscribe to this channel, then you can check out all my other builds such as my Batmobile build from Trash and my 1932 Ford soapbox car or even my Top Gun 2 paper aeroplane. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys get inspired to make your ideas reality. I'll see you next time. Cheers everybody. I hope that one was right. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> yep. I think that was okay.